guys, welcome back to the Kevin TV. On this episode, I want us to talk about common bra classes you must know as a nurse. Pharmacology can be like a jungle of drugs, where sometimes most of us find it difficult to understand pharmacology. Yes, I know it's very difficult sometimes because it's very complex and comes with a whole lot of drugs. Yeah, most times, you know, yeah, we have find problems when it comes to drugs and all those stuff. In this episode, we are going to talk about some common drug classes that you must know as a nurse. We've been serving some medications like paracetamol, brufin, insulin, penicillin, amosacillin, then amylodipine. All these drugs has the classes that all these you know, they belong to. These drugs mean that they all has classes that they belong to. That's the reason why we are making this video. This video is going to be in the form of episode. So this one is going to be the episode one. From now onwards, we are going to learn about a whole lot of drugs on this channel. So please, if you know you've not subscribed, please, I'll urge you to subscribe and turn on the post notification so that anytime I'll drop video, you'll be the first to watch. Like and comment for me too. Now, let's get into the video. So the first one that we are going to talk about is antibiotics. When we talk of antibiotics, antibiotics uh, medication that are being used to fight bacteria. So this class of medication are being used to, what, to fight bacteria. So they are known as the infection fighters. Then let's look at some examples of these medications. The first one we have penicillin, we have amosacillin, we have keftrizone, then we have azithromycin. All these are medications that are being used to treat medication and they are all under the antibiotic class of drugs. So let's continue. Let's move to the second one, known as the antihypertensive drugs or antihypertensive class of medication. When we talk of antihypertensive class of medication, they are medications or they are class of drugs that are being used to control the blood pressure when a patient has a high blood pressure or when the patient is hypertensive patient. These are medications that we use to control the blood pressure. So, it is a medication that is used to lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of stroke or heart failure. So, these are the medications that are used to control the blood pressure, then going to lower the risk of, heart, of stroke and heart failure. So, under there, you know, they have what classes. So, these classes include, we have what, the ACE inhibitors. So, when we talk of the ACE inhibitors, we have some medications like enalapril the lisinopril and these medications you know they watch for cough these medications are those medications that are going to watch for what for cough then when we come there we have the beta blockers when we talk of the beta blockers too we have some medication like the atinerol then we have what metoprolol so these medications also slows the heart rate you see someone the heart rate in there the more I have about ten, 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 no, then the blood and also then blood pressure and keep on what rising. So when we talk of blood pressure, blood pressure is what is the force of blood against the atrial wall. You see, so when the one ten, 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 then the blood pressure also start to what to rise. So um, so due to that, you know, when we give the beta blockers like the atinerol and the metoprolol, no, these medications are going to what slow the heart rate. So um, then. We have the calcium channel blockers. So this calcium channel blockers, we have some drugs like amylodipine. So these drugs you know, or this amylodipine and I say and the other ones they come home, they are going to what, relax the blood vessels. So we have a whole lot of blocks, uh, the whole lot of our drugs under the beta blockers, but I choose to write just a few of them. So um, then when we come here, we have what the diuretics, they are all under the antihypertensive class of drugs. So what I say. So when we come from where when we, uh, we come to the diuretics, now we have froximide. So on. we have froximide. So on. so froximide. You know, so now what they are going to do is that they are going to what remove excess fluid. That's the work of what of the diuretics. They what they will remove what excess fluid. You see. So all these drugs now you can watch me now. They are all under the antihypertensive class of what of drugs so now we know what the antibiotics then we have what the anti-hypertensive what class of drugs then now let's come to what analgesics when we talk of analgesic analgesic drugs you know, they, they are very common and i know say if 
you've been uh, in the same house with an old woman and as an old man uh, you know say that back uh, very common they are paying medication or they are paying relievers so they are the class of drug that are being used to relieve pain or used to what cure for pain so uh, so under there you know, we have medications like paracetamol and paracetamol is being given one day pain no is what is mild it's like instead of negativity so um, so when the pain is severe we give some medications like the tramadol or morphine you get me tramadol or morphine you can give those medications when the pain is so high so um, so they are also under the analgesic class of drug then we have the anti-diabetic class of drug when we talk of anti-diabetic class of drug, they are the kind of uh, medication that are being used to control the blood sugar or they are being used to control the sugar level in, what, in blood so um, so they are being used for what patients who are diabetic so we have some medications like the insulin so um, so the insulin you know is being used for type 1 or type 2 diabetes so um, then we have some oral hypoglycemic medications such as uh, the metformin so those medications you know are also being used under the anti-diabetic class of drugs what to talk about is the anticoagulant class of drugs known as the blood thinners so they are also known as the blood thinners they prevent clotting of the blood and they also make sure that there is no clotting so when there is clotting these are the medications that we give known as the anticoagulant class of drugs so they prevent conditions like atrial fibrillation or after what surgery so after surgery or uh, when there is what atrial fibrillation these are the medication that we give known as the anticoagulant so you can give medication or an example of those medications we have what the heparin we have what the warfarin then we have the apizaban all these ones in our are under the anticoagulant class of drugs so guys we will end here so watch out for episode two of this video we are going to continue with the classes of drug as i said earlier so we have a whole lot of uh, episode coming on drugs for you thank you and stick and stay with me and let's get into this together bye bye